Throughout the final shape and many other activities, including things like excision, you will come across bound enemies in various forms. And if you don't know what they are, somehow, they are the prismatic glowing enemies like that phalanx you just saw behind my hunter. Now, if you didn't know, there is a way you can actually supercharge your transcendence energy to break said shields without even a transcendence well just your basic firearms now when you are playing of course you will eventually unlock transcendence which usually you would need to use light and dark damage or just pure kinetic damage outright to charge it up otherwise like i said use a prismatic well which will supercharge you in a matter of seconds however you can literally just turn around and shoot something i am not even exaggerating when i say that if you see a bound enemy and you have zero energy, use a weapon, just go ahead and shoot it any way you can and you will watch it supercharge right in front of your eyes. Now, specifically with Warden's Law here, it's hitting a little bit harder and charges a little bit faster. I do use a variety of different weapons and try to see the differences. I used a Ross Argo right here, which does seem to charge much slower in comparison, although it is a different damage model type. I even tried a heavy machine gun with Quillums, but again, it doesn't seem to be any difference between light and or dark, as a light weapon here is charging both light and dark equally. Kinetic did it, and a dark weapon did it. I am not sure if this is a bug with the way bound enemies work, or just in the campaign if bound enemies do this so that even if you don't have access to a transcendence well that you can't deal with them because there has been a few close moments in the campaign that not having transcendence did indeed cause issues with everything but aside from that i hope this was helpful my name is matt scorpion i will see you in the next video